going on YouTube? Entry ID reviews here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Scribble Knots Unmasked DC Blind Box figures. And uh, here's a look at the packaging. First off, we got uh, Scribble Knots Unmasked DC Comic Adventure. We got the character in the front, Series 1 DC Collectibles. On the side, we have some other figures in the series Gold Superman. The other side. More characters, Joker. I believe the number, how many, um, how many they are in the each box. So like it'll be a three out of twenty-four for Aquaman. Here's the back. It says WBDC. And uh, if you want to read, I'll read that for you. Scribble Knots on Mass, a DC comic adventure, is a video game where Maxwell unites with Batman, Superman, and the rest of the Justice League to restore order to the DC Comics universe. And Maxwell is right here, the mystery figure. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. Now on to the figures. Set this to the side. Uh, first off, we have in the middle, Maxwell. And this is the Green Lantern. I'm not sure if he comes in other costumes, but yeah, this is the one we got. You can see the detail on him. And at first glance, he appears to have something on... A paint error on his finger, if it'll focus. But it's actually his uh his ring, so that's pretty cool. There's the back of the figure. He has uh, headphones on. Now, I never played this game, but I've seen the artwork and uh, these match up pretty well. The only accessory these guys come with is uh the stand right here, and it looks like a notebook with a spiral notebook with the pencil through the top. The bottom just says DC. And they have little peg holes in the bottom. You can just uh, peg it onto here. And it uh, holds really, really good. They stand without it, but uh, not very well. So it's good they come with that. Uh, next up, I got a uh, Batman. Vampire Batman. You can see the paint detail on this guy. Uh, these are all characters from the game, so I'm not sure what his uh, his his uh, his character does in the game. So I don't know what these little uh, weapons are in his his chest. Uh, the cape is uh kind of stiff, not very movable. Neck can rotate up and down. The arms go up that far, can't go out. They pop out pretty easily by moving around, but they pop right back in. And the legs can uh, rotate back and forth. Pretty standard blind box articulation. Sometimes the legs don't move, so it's actually a little more than normal. And my last one is uh, Bizarro. Really nice. This is actually my favorite of the three. And I didn't even know these uh, these figures existed. My girlfriend actually gave me these as part of my Valentine's Day gift. So I was supposed to review these a couple days ago. Finally get into it. But yeah, this is Bizarro. You can almost see his logo underneath if you lift up the one but it's kind of stiff and I don't want to break it so yeah no mouth on Bizarro you can see the teeth and the mouth on uh, Maxwell but none on Bizarro the hair is done really nice you can see the detailing on that and she said she picked these up at GameStop I'm not sure where else they're available but uh yeah they're pretty cool uh, for a size comparison, I'll bring in this uh, Superman little mini Mezic and this uh, Kubrick's alien figure. So you can see they're about in between those two. Pretty decent size. It's a nice series. If, you, uh, if you're into these kind of things, I advise to pick them up. I recommend Really cool, nice detail, and uh, it's good they come with stands. Most uh, small blind box figures don't come with anything, so it's pretty cool they come with stands. And these are by, again, these are by DC Collectibles, and this is a Series 1. So, yeah, check them out, guys. In3ID Reviews, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more figure reviews. Thanks.